Lesson 8. Magnetic Field. Section 8.4. Work. Suppose that there is a point charge M1 with positive M1 Webers. Another point charge M2 with positive M2 Webers is placed at point P1, R1 meters away from M1. An axis R parallel to the line from M1 to M2 is introduced. Its origin is at M1. The coordinates of M2 is R1. The repulsive force, F1 newtons, as expressed by this equation, is exerted on M2. AR is a unit vector directed from M1 to M2. Imagine that you pushed the point charge M2 by applying a counter force FC1. AL is a unit vector directed from M2 toward M1, which is opposite to AR. And you moved M2 to point P2 where R equals R2. You did work on the charge M2. For calculating the amount of work, another axis L, which is opposite to R, is introduced. Its origin is set at the initial position of M2. The relationship between R and L is that L2 equals R1 minus R2. Fc is rewritten as a function of L. The differential displacement of charge by the force Fc is denoted by dL. In this case, it is in the same direction as Al. The differential work dW is given as an inner product of Fc and dL. The work W done on M2 is obtained by integrating Fc dL from 0 to L2. Thus, the work is derived as shown in this equation. The unit is Joule. Exercise 8.4 Pause the video, and answer the problem. Find the amount of work W on M2. The answer to exercise 8.4 Pause the video and check the answer. The author of this material is Takeshi Furuhashi, Professor Emeritus, Nagoya University. If you have any questions, send emails to this address.